So hi you guys, I wanted to put together this video for my 10th and 12th graders. You guys have a completely different topic than my 9th graders, um, but I want you to pay attention to this video. Um, I completely understand that it's really hard to write an essay without a teacher in front of you, and I really am not there to, you know, kind of give you some helpful tips along the way. So it's really hard to write an essay at your house. Um, and it's kind of hard to teach how to, somebody how to write an essay, but I will do my best. But the very first thing I want you guys to know is if you do an introduction only, I will be very happy. I am completely fine if you do just an introduction. If you want to do the entire three paragraph essay, I will be completely impressed and love that. But I'm really only expecting the introduction and I want you guys to practice because as you're getting to be juniors and you're going to college, um, your your professors, your teachers will always, always, always give you a paper like this that has your expectations of what you're going to be creating. So on here, oopsie daisy, it's going to be, ah, my thing is messing up. So you guys are going to be writing a three paragraph essay. You're going to have an introduction, one body paragraph, and a conclusion. Excuse me. And your total prompt is going to be, why should we choose forgiveness over hatred? And for those of you that actually did the questions and read Night, that will probably be your number one piece of evidence that you guys were going to pull onto here. So the hardest part about writing is not actually the writing itself. It's knowing what you're going to write about as well as making sure that you did the research beforehand, which is why I wanted you guys to kind of fill this out as you were going. Um, I left this one blank because that kind of comes from you guys, whichever Holocaust survivor you wanted to choose. But you have a couple of choices as far as Knight, and then you have the Gerda Weissman if you were able to log into the tolerance.org account. Um, but like I said, it's really not been easy to teach you guys how to write an essay, as well as a lot of you guys have suddenly kind of disappeared. And I'm not sure what you're working on, but I'm hoping you'll give me at least an introduction. But I want you to first know that your, your teachers will always give you an expectation of what they want you to do. Um, and then it will be an MLA format. So that kind of gives you an idea of what you are going to be doing. So on here, that is for my ninth graders. Let me go back. So for you guys, you have this template and now the date has changed. So let's fix that. It is now the 13th of May. Why should we choose forgiveness over hatred? So. Now, before you are going to write anything, I want you to just breathe and remember that the very first thing you're going to give me is a hook. And to remember, grab, so you can give me a good quote. You can give me a rhetorical question, an anecdote, which means a short story, or you can give me a bold statement. So that is what grab stands for. But just know that if you can give me an introduction, I will be very happy because we will be moving in the direction of you guys growing as writers. And eventually you're going to have a professor or you're going to have, um, you know, no matter what you want to do, someone is going to say, why don't you write me something? And you're going to be like, oh, okay, I don't know if my English teacher ever taught me how to write an informative essay. But in order to make sure that I sleep well and that you're prepared for your college and your future, I want to go through this step by step to make sure that you guys have an idea on how to write this. Um, I am going to do three separate videos. One of them is going to be this one, which is your introduction. Then there will be another paragraph for your, um, I'm sorry, another video for your body paragraph and then another one for your conclusion. I do want you guys to get in the mindset of, I can do this. I know that I don't really want to sit at my computer. I would rather be doing this. I would rather be doing something else. But that is how, when you guys get to be older, there's going to be a lot of things you would rather do than maybe go to work. There are other things you would rather do than 
you know, sit at a computer and make your English teacher happy. But you need to think, I can do this. Yes, it's going to be annoying, but I will do this because I know that my future needs to include these skills. So please um, try to at least give me a little bit of your paper here. So your topic is why should we choose forgiveness over hatred? And that is going to be what your entire paper is going to be about. And so now I want you to watch how I work through um, how I'm going to write my introduction to your paper. And please do not write exactly what I write because that will be plagiarizing your English teacher. So you're going to start with your hook. So I have to decide, you have to decide if you want to do, for the ninth graders we did a good quote. But for this one, I think I might do a bold statement or maybe a short story. But I got to think about it. And just like you guys got to think about, you know, not everything in writing is going to be immediate. You kind of have to go, well, I could try that. We could see if that would work. But I think for this one, um, I think I'm going to go with a bold statement, which is the last one of grab. And I'm going to say, um, let's see, uh, I'm not going to do my thesis statement yet. That's going to be at the end of my introduction. So I'm going to say um, something bold, something powerful. Let's see. Forgiveness is powerful. And when we choose forgiveness, we choose to let go of hatred and um, feelings we may be holding on to. Let's say, and grudges we may be holding on to. Forgiveness is powerful, and when we choose forgiveness, we choose to let go of hatred and grudges we may be holding on to. So you guys could be thinking about a time that maybe you chose to forgive someone instead of being hateful towards them. Like, for example, in Night, um, Ellie Wiesel, you know, in the last chapter, he said, you know, no one was focused on revenge. I actually have it in my graphic organizer here. It says, even when we were no longer hungry, not one of us thought of revenge. The next day, a few of the young men ran into Weimar to gr bring back some potatoes and clothes and to sleep with girls, but still no traces of revenge. So when they are rescued by um, the Americans, since we were the ones who rescued all the Jewish people, um, in Poland and Warsaw and we were the ones that helped the Jewish people. Uh, what's beautiful about the book is he never spends any time thinking about how they can get back at the um, German soldiers. They just focus on the future and moving on and, you know, not spending a lot of time on hatred. Because if you think about it, really the Germans were um, doing their job I know it's hard to kind of see it like that, but it was kind of kill or be killed. So if Hitler and his Nazi team saw that you were not following their orders, you either had to kill the Jewish people or they would kill you. So it's kind of a, it's a time in our history we can learn from and to just choose love over hatred and just, you know, love and forgiveness kind of go hand in hand. So forgiveness is powerful. When we choose forgiveness, we choose to let go of hatred and grudges we may be holding, holding on to. So there's my bold statement. So now I have to assume that my reader knows absolutely nothing about what I am going to be writing about, and it's your job to inform them. So hint, informative essay, your job is to inform. And you need to assume that they don't know anything. So now you're going to give them some background statement, a background statement or context to help them understand. So let's say during World War II, Hitler and his Nazi party moved into um, Jewish communities 
and made sure, no, I won't say that, we'll say they moved and has decided to um, exterminate all of the Jewish people. During World War II, Hitler and his Nazi party decided to exterminate all of the Jewish people. Um, let's see. In Amsterdam, um, Czechoslovakia, everywhere, all the Jewish people all of the Jewish people and transport them to concentration camps like Birkenau and Auschwitz in Poland. Um, let's say, what else can we say about the background? Anything that we've gone through um, even though the Germans were successful in carrying out their plan, a few survivors were left to share their stories of what they went through. Ellie Wiesel and Gerda Weissman were both survivors of the Holocaust in Poland and lived long enough to share their stories of hardship with us. Okay, now that I have my hook and I have my background statement, my reader knows what I'm going to be talking about, so now I'm going to pay attention to the most important part of my entire paper, which is the thesis statement. So now I'm going to say um, both. You guys only have to do one body paragraph, but for this example, I'm going to give you two body paragraphs. Both Ellie Wiesel and Gerda Weissman chose forgiveness over hatred because they chose to focus on love and the future rather than focus on the pain they had been through. They chose to focus on love and the future rather than focus on the pain they had been through. When we choose forgiveness over hatred, we choose the future. Okay, so now <clears throat> that I've mentioned both Ellie Wiesel and Gerda Weissman, this is my thesis statement. So everything that comes after this has to support my thesis statement. So now that I have my have my hook. I have my background statement. Oops, make that a different color for you guys. Ooh, that's bright. Then I have my thesis statement. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to make sure that the, the point of your next paragraph has to match your thesis statement. So for so far we have Forgiveness is powerful, and when we choose forgiveness, we choose to let go of hatred and grudges we may be holding on to. During World War II, Hitler and his Nazi party decided to exterminate all of the Jewish people and transport them to concentration camps like Birkenau and Auschwitz in Poland. Even though the Germans were successful in carrying out their plan, a few survivors were left to share their stories of what they went through. Elie Wiesel and Gerda Weissman were both survivors of the Holocaust in Poland and lived long enough to share their stories of hardship with us. Both Ellie Wiesel and Gerda Weissman chose forgiveness over hatred because they chose to focus on love in the future rather than focus on the pain they had been through. When we choose forgiveness over